Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Jacqueline and today we're diving deep into all things Mermaid Core. Hi guys, I'm back with another whimsical design style and trend which is Mermaid Core. As you already know, if you've seen some of our previous videos, now and again I stumble upon a new Gen Z trend and this one just so happens to be related to all things mermaids and sirens. Now I don't know if you're like me and just find all things relating to mythology and the beings that surround it fascinating, but if you do, I'm sure you will enjoy today's video. Now I'm not going to bore you guys with what a mermaid is because I'm sure you're well aware, but I did find out whilst researching that a siren is basically more of a darker version of a mermaid and they would lure sailors to their death, which is something that I learned, I didn't know that. And of course, if you're new to the channel, then welcome. I really appreciate you joining us. Here we talk about all things interior design, home decor, graphic design, art, and even architecture. So if any of that interests you, make sure to stick around. So I'm sure you're all thinking, how do mermaids and interior design connect? But before I go into that part of the video, I do feel like I need to clear up what mermaid core actually is. So essentially it's an aesthetic or style that stems from the mythology surrounding mermaids and sirens. Currently we've specifically seen mermaid cores, the classic themes take precedence in the fashion world. And with the recent increase in early 2000s fashion too, it makes sense that the colour palettes and fashion styles from the time are also interwoven into this overall theme. I always mention how fashion and interiors are very much inspired by similar trends, which is why I'm predicting more aquatic elements to seep into our homes as well. Also, I just find there's something so alluring and magical about mermaids, which is why I think the release of a couple of mermaid movies this year has sent mermaid core into the zeitgeist in this current moment. A while ago I talked about a Gen Z trend of the coastal grandmother and how that seaside trend infiltrated interior design, but this sea theme is very different in appearance. A couple of years ago, cottage core was rising in popularity, but now I think mermaid core will be ballooning in dominance this year, particularly now in the summer months. Drawing from those themes in mermaid lore seen in films, books and fashion, a mermaid core home, plainly put, reflects sea-like qualities. If I were to describe this style, I would say it's ethereal, luminous, fresh and majestic. There's a certain softness and understated feel to the style and there really is an enchanting quality about it. The colour palette of a mermaid inspired interior is of course driven by seascape, so think coral, fish scales, shells, pearls, waves and reefs. Although the palette is more subdued and takes more of a calmer approach. Therefore muted pastel tones are used throughout like cornflower, baby blue, periwinkle, lilac, sage, pea, mint, lemon, coral, apricot, aqua, turquoise, sea green, and last but not least, sea foam. In terms of the monochrome palette, lighter and dustier tones are used. But of course, mermaids and their habitat are renowned for being bright and vibrant, so colour is going to be the way to go. Fish scales usually have a holographic quality to them, so multicolours and chromatic effects are very common too. Moving on to textiles, mermaids are of course renowned for their shimmering, gleaming tails, so therefore look to using shiny textures like beading, sequins and pearls in particular to dress your space. Just like the movement of the sea, and especially when we go underwater ourselves, textiles to include should be flowy and delicate. Think organza, silk, lace, satin, and style in ruffles or drapes. Sheer materials will enhance the theme further to mimic water and give off a delicate feel to your space. When looking at hard materials in the home, I think 
something that screams under the sea, to me at least, are fish scale tiles. Now these have absolutely grown in popularity and they're very distinctive. I think you're going to either love them or hate them, but for this theme in particular, they're the perfect selection for any kitchen or bathroom. Choose the obvious blue or green colour palette for a bold statement, or if you're going for a subtle approach to mermaid core, you can get these tiles in white or beige too. I also watched the new Little Mermaid the other day in the cinema and they included these hand-painted Delft tiles which I thought was really really interesting. I think that could be another really interesting option for tiling especially if you're looking for something bespoke. Unfortunately I wasn't able to get a still from the film online but there were plenty in Prince Eric's castle. Patterns to look for are of course anything related to the ocean, but make sure to not use a wallpaper that looks like this. It's just too garish, so keep it subtle yet effective. The legend of the mermaid and merpeople has been around for thousands of years. So when looking at furniture for your home, I think that it would be very on brand to look for furniture that feels very old worldly. Specifically from the golden age of piracy and shipwrecks from the 1650s and the 1730s, but really any dark wood vintage furniture will work. When I think of pirate furniture, I think of writing bureaus, chairs, and antique trunks, of course. It seems pretty obvious, but look for pieces that depict mermaids and shells as well, like lamps or tables. These are usually vintage finds as well. If you're looking to create a less themed look, look to using light, bright furniture and pastel toned accent pieces. You can really go as authentic or as whimsical as you want with this theme, it all depends on your taste. To replicate Ariel's neat collection, think about home decor items that look mismatched as if you've just found them off of a shipwreck yourself, like perfume bottles, mirrors, globes, statues and figurines, candelabras, telescope, maps and glass bottles. The other aspect of mermaid inspired home decor is of course ocean related objects and that can be brought through by materials such as mother of pearl textured items or through pieces from the sea itself like shells and coral. So easy to find these items and it wouldn't be a mermaid core interior without these essential elements.
Writing is really interesting and I think you can have a lot of fun here. Simple paraffin lamps will give an old timey feel, but for extra joy, colourful chandeliers or intriguing shaped lamps will light things up even more. These types of lighting are rarely used, which I find such a shame as I think they're so bubbly. I always talk about some kind of plants in these videos, as you know, and I have to admit I was kind of stumped when I was writing out the script, but it took me a while to figure it out, but the most mermaid theme plants for me are the ones found in fish tanks. Different kinds of sea plants and real coral is truly mesmerising to me. Home aquariums used to be really, really popular in the 90s and early 2000s. They're not so popular now, but I think one of these would really bring the scheme together in the space. Let me know if any of you guys still have a fish tank. To bring your mermaid theme home together, we of course need to display some artwork. And my top choices for this style are metallic art, ocean and sea life themes, and paintings that stem from mythology. I think that these will really help to create a coherent scheme and make the element of mermaids front and centre in your home. But of course you can go for something a bit more elusive if you're wanting just a subtlety to the theme. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, mermaids of course stem from sirens in Greek mythology, so I thought it was only right to include some source material to conjure up those mermaid vibes. If you want to know more about the history of mermaids or the fashion side of things, I've linked three really good in-depth videos in the description box. I absolutely love hearing your thoughts down in the comments and also what you guys want to see on the channel, so do let me know. Please leave me a like or an emoji down below to let me know that you enjoyed the video and that really, really does help to grow the channel. And if you love interior design, home decor and all that creative stuff, feel free to subscribe. But that's it for today's video guys, I hope that you're all having a lovely H2O summer and I will see you in the next one, bye guys!